your car guy here. Today I want to talk about the Creator C110 Plus BMW Code Scanner. This is a little scan tool. I picked it up, uh, I believe, on Amazon. Price was around $60. Uh, needed something that could read BMW codes, uh, reset uh, codes, but something more than just an OBD2 scanner. Now, this is a uh, Chinese made scanner. Um, as such, I mean, it's not necessarily the most expensive or the fanciest scanner out there, but I wanted to give you an idea of what it can do, some likes and some dislikes with it. When you get it, it does come with a nice little case and the instructions for it. Um, overall, I'm actually, for the price, I'm very impressed with what this scanner can do. So when you first plug it into the car, it comes up with this initial screen, and if you hit the OK button, it then takes you into your what do you want to do? So if you're going in to configure the system on the scanner or to reset it, but we're going to go into the diagnostics and it's going to ask you, hey, what series do we want to do? All the way through the seven series. In this case, we have a five. And then it'll ask you which five you've got so that you can get the correct information. Then it's able to read both the driver, the chassis and the body modules, which is great because it gives you a lot of options. Uh, on all the different modules that are in these cars, there'll be codes for the air conditioning or other things that uh, normally you'd have to go to a dealer to pull up or go through some other aggravation. So your car access system, diesel electronics, of course this isn't a diesel, this is a 525 that we're dealing with. So you can go like to your digital motor electronics, your transmission controller, fuel, fuel pump control, um, your gear selector switch. Uh, there's, you know, quite a bit that you can go into. Check codes, clear codes. Here we'll go into the digital motor electronics. And then it connects to that module specifically uh, to read that module, the information. And once it gets to here. Now, this is one of the things I find interesting. It gives you a back, but it doesn't really tell you that to go forward. At this point, you need to click OK and then it brings you into the where you can read your trouble codes, erase your trouble codes, read the data stream, clear the adaptations. Now this is really great if uh, you wanna clear the transmission adaptations or some other things like that. Uh, it's really nice to be able to do that. So read data stream. One thing that, that I do find um, interesting is this thing is a little bit slow to pull up data and information. So now we're gonna ask do we want to look at the oxygen sensor controls, the idle, smooth running values, the Vanos, the Valtronic? Uh, we'll just go into motor operating values at this time, take a look at it. So, you know, it gives us, hey, what's our oil level? Uh, we can see where we need to be. Engine oil temperature. Um, you hit the button and you'll wait. And this is one of the things that I find um, a little bit of a, a drawback to this system is, you know, I've, I've told it now to go to the next page, which it doesn't have a really good description. It just says, hey, we're on page one of five. So I used a side arrow to go to the next page. And, uh, you know, get to the next page. The information's there. Uh, it isn't necessarily, like I said, the fastest system with how quickly it moves to through the information and the data but so like I'm increasing the engine speed it's still showing 656 rpms but it's going to catch up here in a minute so it's a little bit slow to retrieve data but overall it's it's actually proved to be a uh, valuable tool as far as for diagnostics purposes um, being able to uh, go through the information that's there and, and see what's happening with the vehicle. Um, for the price, I think it's a good buy. Uh, you're able to go in, you can reset your codes, you can clear your codes, you'll get the code specifically uh, for things that you might not otherwise um, be able to pull up. One of the things that uh, was good for me was uh, this particular vehicle was having an issue that especially on hot days at an idle, it tended to want to die. Now, I did restart after just a second, but it would die, and it was going to, able to go into the fuel pump control module and find that there were codes for high resistance on the fuel pump, 
and was therefore able to replace the fuel pump and cure that issue. So uh, some, some very neat little uh, things that you can do with this as you're doing your diagnostics, uh, clearing your, your codes. It can read sensors, including your steering angle sensor and other sensors to, to see what, uh, what's going on. Now I see that you know some of the data doesn't necessarily pull up and whether that's uh, just a communication issues or if it's where uh, this is not supported by this tool, not sure. But good tool, a little bit slow. Now for example, I hit the back button and then you wait. Sometimes it moves a little faster than others. Um, sometimes it's a little slower, but you have the option to hit your transmission control, fuel pump control, and like I said, that's important. If you have the SMG transmission, it'll also read that. We do have quite a few options, like I said, as you get into the chassis as well. You'll be able to read uh, cruise control, steering, your ABS, your dynamic stability control, your ride height control if you have it. Um, so tire pressure control as well. So you can check for codes there, see if you've got issues uh, in all of those different areas. So it is a good tool, like I said, for the price. Not the fastest, not necessarily the most intuitive to work. Uh, you know, I think it being Chinese, they may have left out some of the, the simple things like when you get to that first screen and it loads into the module, it doesn't give you the okay to click to know to go into that module, but you have to do it in order to get in. So good tool, uh, creator. I bought mine on Amazon. I think you can find them on eBay and other places, but if you need to be able to get more information than a standard OBD2 scanner is gonna give you for your BMW, I say go for it. This is your car guy. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Um, subscribe, help us grow the channel. 